Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we did do a little bit of whatever I want, except for today we're doing whatever this kitty cat wants. So we're backwards again, because Lady decided it's time to give her attention. So that's what we're doing to start this stream. What's up? Hey, Koneko. Just been tired. Oh gosh, will you sleep then, Koneko? You sleep. You're always here so late for me, so I appreciate that. You sleep. Lily, hey, yes. Kitty. She was sleeping before stream. I thought I thought we would be good from her rampaging, but no. Okay, she, I guess she doesn't want the lap anymore. Please don't break things, lady. She is got bigger, and um, she still wants to climb all over everything, so she breaks stuff now. It's great. It's great fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, and now she's at the door. I don't even know, like... She trying to tell me she wants out. I could not tell you. Might have to be getting up in a second. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I just realized it still got the Harry Potter graphics. Oh well, I guess we're having Harry Potter graphics this stream. I didn't change them back. <laughs> we need Harry po the Harry Potter graphics for next stream anyway, so oh well. I guess we'll get a little bit on um, magical school tonight instead of having the, the kitty cat queens pop up. Queen of the stream, yes. Well, you know, actual queen is uh, being respectful and doing her own thing and not climbing all over everything while I stream. You know what I caught her playing with? You know what I caught her playing with right before stream? She found in my craft closet back there um, the bottle of super glue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She found the bottle of super glue. She was chewing on it. Luckily, she didn't puncture it, but that was great. That was a great find. So, um, so good job, lady. I think she actually does want out. I'm going to let her out and hopefully she doesn't scream to get let back in. <gasps> okay. There you go. Go. Go, go. Okay. Okay. There we go. <gasps> She's out. All right, guys. <laughs> she just, she just needs so much attention. She needs so much attention and I want to give it to her, but she doesn't want it at times where I'm not doing anything important. Like she never asked me for attention while I'm just like chilling, playing video games. She doesn't ask me for attention while we're like, you know, watching a TV show. She asked me for attention while I'm in work meetings and while I'm streaming. <laughs> Those are the times. <laughs> she also asks for attention sometimes when I'm on the toilet, which is weird. I don't know what's going on there, but that happens sometimes too. She's very cute like that. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right. Oh my gosh. Let's get started. Let's get started. We are continuing our Leaf Green Nuzlocke today. We're going to be taking on the Fighting Dojo and Sylph Co. So, um, so this is Fight Club. Okay, we're taking on we're taking on large corporations, and we're and we're going to fight for it. So that's what we're doing. But first, we're going to do a quiz. We like to start out with personality quiz, and today's personality quiz is why do people hate you? So let me copy this URL and put it into the stream chat. There you guys go. You guys should take the quiz too and tell me what you get. So this says you're an absolute failure to society, but so do I. So let's lick each other's wounds. Enjoy, hun. We're gonna enjoy, hun. Okay, here we go. How was your childhood bullied, da loser? I never received my parents' affection whatsoever. Oh, that's sad. Pretty happy and stable, <laughs> derogatory. <laughs> Uh, I love the, the whole like parentheses derogatory. I feel like Zoomers came up with that. So thanks Zoomers. Great contribution to the internets. Um, I have never felt anything from the age of 12 apart from the excitement of FNAF lore and hatred towards humanity. Hmm. I had a dog cat at <laughs> that at least loved me. Oh no. Um, my, actually my childhood was okay. I mean, I had, I mean, I had issues, but I don't think they were unusual issues or insurmountable issues. I don't know, man, if you would ask me like when I was closer to it, I probably would have a different answer, but I'm pretty far removed from that time now. So pretty happy and stable, all things considered. How do you keep up? Isolation. <laughs> man, uh, support from family and friends. What do you mean by keeping up? I'm literally dead inside. The idea of committing worldwide genocide in the future excites me. Oh, zombie apocalypse. Person. Great question. I guess I just do. Yeah, I really have no clue. I was actually just telling my boss today that I feel like I am not keeping up because things have been really, really crazy busy at work um, because of the pandemic. Uh, like 
we had a bunch of stuff planned, like trainings planned throughout the pandemic that really needed to take place in person for one reason or another. And so we kept pushing it back and pushing it back because it's like people were just not comfortable to come in, you know, so we push them back, push them back. And well, now finally people are comfortable to come and gather somewhat. So like they're all happening this month. It is absolutely like way too much work. But anyway, yeah, great question. I guess I just do. I don't know. I just, I guess I just complain about it until someone helps me fix it. <laughs> Uh, which one is more relatable? Never understood why people hate me when I do everything just as they want. The idea of making a mistake makes me so anxious because I'm giving them reason to hate me. Whoa. Uh, nobody hates me. They're rather scared of me or jealous. There's no point in between. Being respected is the most important to me, so why should I care? Wow. I actually kind of relate to the first part of that, not the second part so much. I literally couldn't care less if people hate me. The people I love are already by my side. The rest of the world can suck my dick. Oh, oh, that might be my answer. I prefer to be lonely, staying by myself rather than suffering from social anxiety when I'm around a murder of people. Okay, whatever. I have always had friends and to fit in, even if they hated me, just, oh, that's really sad. No, like most of the world can suck my dick. It's fine. Um, that's like your personal issue if you want to spend the energy hating me. Favorite show, Stranger Things slash Peaky Blinders. Ooh, I love both of those. Um, Attack on Titan, what is this, JJK? I don't know, or Nana. It must be another anime, because both of these are animes. Grey's Anatomy, I actually was super into Grey's Anatomy the first few seasons, but then I kind of fell off. I haven't watched any of these. Bojack, Horseman, Monster, or Breaking Bad. Uh, we're going to go with Stranger Things, Peaky Blinders, for sure. Choose a quote that resonates with you. I need you to tell me that I'm a good person. I know that I can be selfish and narcissistic and self-destructive, but underneath all that deep down, I'm a good person. And I need you to tell me that I'm good. Wow. I'm just an extreme example of what a working man can achieve. Okay. She's in the past. The past no longer my concern. The future isn't my concern either. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, okay. Okay. I do know what that show is. All right. I didn't know that was the um, acronym for it. Right now, the world is full of pain, but everything will be all right. I know it. The bad things can keep happening forever. We have to do our part to stop them. Oh, I kind of like that one. The hedgehog's dilemma, huh? The closer they get, the more they hurt each other. I get it now. Oh, I don't think the hedgehogs really hurt each other with their spikes. I don't think so. Anyway, we're going with that one. Who are you in high school? Unhinged <laughs> indie elitist boy girl. Uh, the gay friend. <laughs> That real emo FNAF Radiohead Nightcore depressive bitch. Neither FNAF nor Nightcore were things when I was a, a kid. Emo and Radiohead definitely were, though. Glad to hear that Zoomers still identify with emo and Radiohead. That's good. Um, yep. Popular boy girl, definitely not. Just till I'm doing my shit typo. Type what does that mean? Doing my shit typo. I don't know, but I guess that's the closest. I don't know what typo means at the end of that. Um, young person, explain it to me if anybody knows. Thoughts on life after death. There's no such thing as just a way for humans to escape from their fear of death. I want to believe so. It could be heaven, reincarnation, just something else. Why would I care? I'll already be dead. <laughs> I literally just said that the other day. <laughs> about something. I can't remember what we were talking about. I can't remember what we were talking about. But it was like, it was like something about... It was something about like memorials after dying. And I was like, y'all can do whatever you want after I'm dead. I won't care because I'll be dead or something like that. I literally, so I probably have to pick that. I try to avoid that question. It makes me a little anxious to think about death. I have a religious belief. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, I'll be dead. So by definition, I will not care. Oh, I never do these. Last question, and most importantly, just read blah, blah, blah. I, we have so many quizzes in a row that haven't had one of these. So like, I've kind of forgot that these exist at the end of most you quizzes. But yeah, we never do these. Okay, result, they envy you. Wow, look at that. Look at that meme right there. You're hot, funny, cool, and super happy. Definitely don't know about the hot and cool. I am definitely happy. I hope I'm funny. Um, just kidding, you're dead inside. Oh, the truth. You try not to think about the things too much because the end that ends up making you miserable. People hate you because apparently you have everything in life when that's not the case at all. Oh, I relate to that. People do assume certain things in that regard. It's amazing what a little bit of confidence will buy you. The thing is, you just suffer alone. You tend to be honest with people around you and sometimes you're harsh. Oh, that's true. 
Um, but that's just because you care. As long as you have support, you'll be fine. You seem to not emotionally depend on anyone, but in reality, your family and friends are irreplaceable. Wow. I don't think I've had a result in a long time that cuts so deep as that. What a good quiz. Oh no, I got the same result. <laughs> wow, Lily. Oh my gosh. That's good though. I mean, I don't know. I definitely relate to this result and I'm not mad at it. I think it's fine. <clears throat> You're a coward. What? Okay. What is it? Okay. You're afraid of people touch love everything. You've been hurt so many times. You just want to run away. People tend to hate you because you don't let them in and you're distant. And even if you once wanted to fit in, there's no room for you now. You're lonely as fuck. <gasps> of course, you're a Shinji Kinney and profoundly hate yourself. What? What? Shin okay, in some of the endings, Shinji learns in the end. I'm just saying. Keep it up. Don't expect the world to love you. If you can't even do it, work on yourself, buddy. There's still hope. Very accurate when I was depressed. This is definitely like a depressed mode answer for sure. The coward answer. Wow. Yeah, I get in the robot Koneko. Well, I will say I do not think you are distant, at least when you participate in the chats here. Um, I don't get I don't get that feeling at all. You seem you seem warm and inviting and cool. All right, we're going to switch over to the Nuzlocke. It's time, you guys. It's time. Okay, we are here in this little area above Route 11 because what we did before... I'm going to unpause this. There we go. Now there's volume. Y'all let me know how the volume sounds, if it's too loud, too quiet, too whatever, compared to my voice. Um, levels look right, but y'all tell me. Anyway, um, I got all of my Pokemon up to level 37, in between streams so everybody's 37 now which means i evolved a bunch of pokemon um because i have a mod that instead of you evolve certain pokemon by trading they evolve at level 37 so it's a mod that i have um i think if you exclamation pokemon it will pop yeah okay so that document explains the way that i'm modding it so that instead of trading those pokemon level up at a certain point in the game so now I've got a whole bunch of Pokemon species, so we're getting these rewards. So we're getting the item finder. Yes, I have. Yep, 51 is what I'm up to now. So item finder, there we go. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, kitty, you coming in here with that today? Hey, welcome. How's it going? I hope everything is good for you. I feel like it is if you're greeting us with some sunder. Some sunder from Kitty. He really is. Oh my gosh. I want to replay that game. I want to replay that game. I'm really, really bad at the at the dungeon parts of it. Um, But I feel like I should probably actually do a complete playthrough for you guys at some point. Alright, we're going to go next to Celadon. And we need to go to Route 16. Which I think is the one that's this way. I think we go into this route, and there's another of the gifts from Professor Oak's aid. Yeah, Route 16. Okay. So, similar, you go up here. Yes, the quiz was, why do people hate you? Um, Kitty, do you, st is the, do you still see the link? If you see the link, you should definitely take the quiz and tell us what you get. Alright, so this aid is going to give us amulet coin. Sweet, okay. Do it. All right, so we got the amulet coin. <clears throat> I can hear the kitty cat scratching at the door, even though she asked to get out like not even two minutes ago. I love Lady. She's so cute, but she drives me up the wall sometimes. She's like our problem child. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fly over to Saffron City. And we went through and like talked to people here before, I think. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if we talked to everyone in Saffron City. But it doesn't really matter. We can always do that later. Alright, we're gonna go to Bill's PC and we gotta swap some of our Pokemons. Oh my god. No, I need to move hip now. There we go. So this is what I mean, like I got everyone up to level 37, so you can see like there's a lot of level ups, right? Um, I need to get a leaf stone to 
evolve him, but there's no need right now. I'm not really worried about like growing my Pokedex. But like we've got Poliwhirl, we've got Dodrio, we've got Gengar, um, we've got uh, Electrode. Let's see what other level ups. Yeah, so we evolved um, Amara and we evolved Hydration. And then we've got Pidgeot and Butterfree. Uh, no. So you can see this is our team right now. So you can see like Holly leveled up too, same thing. So with my mod at level 37, they level up instead of having to trade them. All right, we are gonna go take on. Oh no, we didn't talk to everyone. Oh man, I can answer my own questions if I just would read my notes that I take to try to remember what I wanna do on stream. Okay, let's actually talk to everybody so you can see kind of what's going on in Saffron City. Pokemon growth rates differ from species to species. Yes, that's true. Some level up faster or slower. Ah, oh, wouldn't this be great if the Elite Four came and stomped Team Rocket? Hey, kid, now you're thinking with portals. Why haven't they done that? Why haven't they done that? Hmm, that's interesting. Sylphco is widely known to all. It is a victim of its own fame. It attracted Team Rocket. Okay, wow. Man, the Pokemon world's got some problems with corporations and greed and money and things. With Sylph under control, we can exploit Pokemon around the world. We'll get stinking rich, yeah! That's right, sir. You will get stinking rich, I guess. <sighs> what you got to say, mister? Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. <gasps> I got TM29, wow. Okay, I got Psychic. That's a good move. That's a really good move. We should probably teach it to Hypno. My life as a criminal makes me feel so alive. Okay, Bonnie and Clyde. He's taking a snooze. Uh-oh, he's sleeping. It's nap time. It's nap time for that man. Ouch, watch where you're walking. Did he just pretend I bumped into him? He just pretended I bumped into him. What a weirdo. I think trainers are so cool when they're battling. Don't you think so too? Yeah, I'm pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool when I'm battling. Brock's the last word on cool. End of story. Now there's a guy who I want to be like. Brock's pretty cool. I agree. All of us gathered here are fans of Pokemon trainers. The way they look in battle, they are pictures of coolness. Perhaps you will be talked about here too if you keep winning. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I can become a cool trainer one day. Probably, kid. If you work hard, you too can leave home at the age of 15 to capture monsters in the wild and battle them and then take on <laughs> and then take on a, a gambling organization. <gasps> Max Repel keeps weaker Pokemon from appearing. Max Repel stays effective longer than Super Repel. Okay. Revive is costly, but it revives fainted Pokemon. Yes, that's true. Unfortunately, I'm playing a Nuzlocke, and so revives are useless for me. Um, we are going to... Do I have any, like, nuggets or anything that I need to sell? Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. I do not. Am I good? Where, where... Let me see where I am. Oh, I was just in my key items folder. I don't know why I was scrolling through there. Let's see. Do I have good... Uh, I have one. I could buy some more hyper potions. Yeah, let's get some hyper potions. Yes. Um, what about some full heals? Yes, that would be good. I'm like so flush with money. Who cares? Escape ropes. Oh, I have a bunch of escape ropes already. Do I want to get max repels? I might, I may, I might as well. Who knows? I mean, I have so much money, whatever. Let's get some repels. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's go back into the selling menu and get out of the key items pocket. And instead look at regular items. See what we can sell. See if I have anything that needs to be sold. Oh, yep, I have some nuggets. Here you go, have some nuggets. Yes. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I'd give somebody the amulet. But I feel like by at this point in the game, like I'm so good on money, I don't need to use the amulet coin. See ya! Alright, please come again. I probably will. Don't get defiant or I'll have to hurt you. 
Oh, well, don't hurt me. I did not do anything to you. I don't want to fight right this moment. What do you want? Get lost. Boss says he'll take this town in the name of Team Rocket. Okay. Not if this 15-year-old has something to say about it. Saffron belongs to Team Rocket. I guess they really like saffron rice or something. All right. So we talked to everybody. We said hello. We did our greetings. It's time to fight. Mine was they envy you, but the explanation's very long. TLDR is people think I'm too well off. Oh yeah, I got they envy you too. So me and you and Lily all got they envy you. <laughs> Maybe that's like just the kind of answer that um, older people, like adults who take that quiz, tend to get or something? I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I felt pre It felt pretty accurate for me. Like, I was, like, not mad at it or anything. Oh, he already knows Psychic. What the heck am I thinking? I guess I could teach somebody else Psychic if I wanted to. I love how the building is so tall it just blocks off the rest of the street. I mean, that's how it happens in real life. You can't go behind buildings in real life. Their pixels just, like, block part of the street. You know? <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> Alright, we're basically just going to psychic all of these people to death, um, and that's going to be how that is. It's super effective. And that's how we're going we're gonna to defeat this gym. Oh, I did not mean to hit yes. I meant to hit no. And I'm kind of nervous, like... Because we'll do this challenge, and then we've got Sylph Co., and then there's a couple of more routes, but then there will be, like, literally nothing else I can do to stall doing Koga and Sabrina. So I'm, like, I'm, like, nervous. I don't know how this that's going to go. Those are, like, hard, and that's this is, that's the point in the game where I was actually, like, nervous about losing Pokemon. I mean, I know we've lost two, far, two so far, but, like, it's literally only two that we've lost, you know? Um, but uh, we're going to be at the point of the game... Probably the next episode where I'm actually worried about that. And I just realized, speaking of that, my badges like aren't showing. Let me fix it. Badges, come back! Mm -mm -mm. Where's my refresh button? There it is. Okay, there we go. Now you can see my badges. <clears throat> <laughs> Wall Street in New York made me sick because of how tall the buildings are. It was like being in a fun house. <laughs> That's too funny. When I the one when we visited New York, I didn't go over by um by Wall Street. And I guess I'm just trying to think like I don't think we I really like spent a lot of time looking up exactly. Um like I just don't really remember doing too much of that. The choke fainted. Black Belt, Hideki. Okay, do I have anything to restore PPs? Mm -mm. There we go. Alright, next guys. I love the items patch, it's so cute. It is really cute, it is really cute. I'm still playing a lot of Legends Arceus, by the way. That reminds me of it because, like, everything is so faster in regards to the menus in Legends Arceus, so you don't really have, like, something like that, but I really do appreciate the faster gameplay. Um, but, like, it's great. So I'm still playing a lot of that. I'm working on trying to get my Pokedex, like, completely filled out, like, perfect, some perfect entries and things. I've got it, like, the basics of it filled out. Like, I can go try to, um do the very last mission in the game before the DLC that came out. Um, which I tried to do it once and it was really freaking hard. <laughs> so I have not tried again. Um, so, you know. Uh, I just went back to doing the Pokedex. I get Lucario and Legends Arceus a few days ago. Finally have my boy. Yes! You can't really get him until the very last area, I think. Like, I don't think there's a good... I don't even know if there's any Riolus. Um earlier than the last area. I don't remember seeing them in my playthrough anyway. Got a Riolu and evolved it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Are you in the last area, Koneko? Is that where you are? 
Yeah, we learn the cardio. Okay, that's what I thought. Badger, 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 badger. Good job, good job. Uh, no. You're just gonna keep destroying. Yeah, I'm there. I just got the Breviary Ride, and now I'm side-questing. Nice. I'm trying to stall. <laughs> I mean, it's a really good game, um, so I do not blame you for kind of, like, savoring all of it and trying to get the most out of it. It's super fun. Like, I'm still playing it, and that game has got me, like, hooked. Um, most games don't, don't really uh, hook me like that, you know, but that's the first Pokemon game in a long time that's really, like, engrossed me like it in it's engrossing me the way that like um black and white engrossed me when that one came out really really into it ah was one more road down get my team a little more diverse my team has a few glaring weaknesses that will screw me over i plan to stick with this team i know that's gonna happen so i just want to be prepared oh yeah yeah that makes sense Although there's really not, like, a lot of trainer battle stuff in this game. Like, it's really more, it really is more about, like, catching wild Pokemon. So, um, you have a lot more freedom to build a different type of, type of team that may not be, you know, uh, traditionally considered, like, a good team. Which is interesting. Like, that's in particular, I think, like, my husband got the Legends Arceus 2, and... He didn't really like it. Like, he beat it, but he didn't, like, play any post-game or anything like that. And I think it was really because, like, there wasn't a lot of trainer battles, and so the thing that was most fun for him was, like, non-existent. Alright, you guys. It's time to fight Karate Master! Um, this is, like, a little bonus gym. Bonus fighting gym. And, uh, and instead of getting a badge at the end, as you guys know, who have played a lot of Pokemon before, we're gonna get Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. So I'm gonna throw up a voting um, on which one you guys think we should get. So let's do a slash poll. Yes, we're gonna set up a poll. Come on, there we go. The menu would not pop up for me for some reason. All right, we're gonna do one minute start poll. All right, you guys, tell me, who should we get? Which Hitmon should we get? Should we get Lee that we just saw, we just beat him up, or should we get Chan? The Pokemon looked like it was dapping. <laughs> maybe he is, maybe he was dapping, just, you know. All right, this is Hitmon Chan right here that we're about to see. I'm going to get Alpha Gardevoir. I have an Alpha Gallade, but I want Gardevoir because Fairy type. You can totally get one easily, Koneko. I won't spoil it for you, for you, but um, but you totally can get an Alpha Gardevoir pretty easily. I know what's going to happen. I just want to be prepared. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, so we got we got the Kicky Boy, and then we got the Punchy. So we got Kicky or Punchy. I haven't counted it, but it's kicking my ass. Oh, <laughs> oh, good, good, good. So you know where it is. I wasn't prepared when I first found it. Too excited, right? Oh, Lee. Okay, everybody likes the kicky. Everybody likes the kicky. There we go. The hard kicking Hitmon Lee. Yes, that's what you guys like. That's what we're gonna get. Um, yes. Let's give a nickname. Let's see where we are. Where are we on the nicknames? I'm gonna open up my Twitch panel and let's take a look. I don't remember what names were still in the queue that we had not used yet. Okay. This one, this is a boy Pokemon, so we're gonna go with James. James is in the name queue, so that's what we're gonna go with. Ooh. James. There we go. All right. Okay, let's take that out of the queue. There we go. Complete. That's your grandpa's name, really? I think Lunar put in that name. 
I was under level for the first arena, that's why I want to stall before I continue. I know resources are gonna, gonna become a problem too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once you get to the post game, like, well, once you really level up all your star levels, then getting money is really easy. Cause you get you get more money for the for catching Pokemon the higher your star level is. So as you level up, money becomes very, very easy. All right, so that's the first main thing I wanted to do during this stream. Now what we are going to do is we are gonna go take on Sylphco, all right? So we are gonna go through this massive, massive building with the sleeping guard. But let's first take Badger and let's kind of put him in the back because he is pretty high level compared to everybody else. So we're gonna try to level others up as we go through Sylphco here. I'm two star levels higher than recommended, but I'm chronically short on resources, so I so I can't catch all that much. I have to go out in short bursts. Ah, okay. Um I mean I guess it might be I guess it might be beneficial to do some farming, like just run around and break open ores and you know, bust trees and stuff. Look when will my reflection show All right, let's see. Do I want to go? Um, I think I cannot do... Oh no, I can get on the elevator. All right, but we're just gonna take the stairs. We're just gonna take the stairs up to the second floor. There we go. All right, let's traverse. Okay, so this is, oh, okay, I'm remembering this. It's teleport pads freaking everywhere. You have a few quests in the first area. I'm mostly showing tumble stones when I'm side questing. I'll just grab all the tumbles. Yes, I always, I had no problem like just stopping to uh, do trees, but for some reason, like I wasn't, I, I didn't feel compelled to do the ores. So I would always be short on tumble stones. Like that happened a lot to me too. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know what it is. For some reason I was like happy to do trees, um, but not the ores so much. So I always had like extra apricorns and, but not extra tumble stones. Uh, no, we'll keep, we'll keep Liama. We'll keep Liama out for these Zubats. Cause he can get them pretty good. Zap. Hmm, excuse me. There we go. Yep. He's just gonna keep using Zubats. So yeah, I'm like all the way in the post game at this point, just filling out my Pokedex, which like, it sounds super monotonous, but because the gameplay loop is so satisfying in this game, like, it's good. Like, I really like it. I still need that freaking Cherim side quest. Freaking trees do not like me. I get all of the Burmy. Um, Koneko, do you want me to give you a little secret in regards to the Cherim, Cherubi catching one of those? I can tell you something. I won't like give it away, but I can tell you something that will help without like spoiling you figuring it out. Please do, I'm so lost on that one. Okay. There are only specific trees that have Cherubi and Cherim. There are specific trees in the first area that have Cherubis. So you could get one of those and evolve it, but you gotta figure out the specific trees that have them. And if you're getting Burmy or like a Combi from one of those trees, it's not that tree. Um, and for the Cherim, it's the same way, just in, I think, Cornet Highlands, there's specific trees for the Cherim. So I hope that helps, without giving too much away. You did very good, Liyama. Very, very good getting all them Zubats. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's another rocket there. See, there's a lot of guys to fight. Let's fight all the guys. Oh, okay, so it's basically G4 Munchlax, but not that frustrating. Yes, this is one of the more frustrating Pokemon to get because it is quite rare, but once you know the specific trees that have them, it's really not too bad. You just make it a regular thing to go check those trees and see if they're shaking. Oh, that's a ground type. Let's see. Who do we want to have take him out? I guess Ollie would be good. Let's go to, what, what attacks ground type well? Let's see. 
Karate Chop. I don't know if this, I can't remember for ground type. It's so close to rock, it, I get it mixed up. Um, so ground, I should use grass, ice, or water. Oh, that's right. I should have just put out Gyarados. Oh, well. That's okay. Holly got it. Yeah, you were close. Water, grass, and ice, I think is what I said. Uh, yes, for the Zubat, we'll go back to Liyama. I also barely get any wrestling trees. For some reason, I get tons of shaking stones, but no shaking trees. I think it's just, I think it's just chance. Like, it's just chance based on where you tend to go on the map. Like, I have found that to be just straight up random. Um, because I thought I was seeing more shaking rocks than shaking trees originally. Like, when, during my, when I was playing through the game. But now that I'm actually, like, really, like, deeply exploring the areas to fill out the the Pokedex stuff. Um, I don't think that's really true. I think it just had to do with like where I happened to be walking around when I was playing through the main game. It's always either ice or fighting that gets me confused. I can, yep, me too. Especially since in Gen 1 there's like n not a lot of ice types and most of the ice types are actually ice water types. So like it just doesn't stick in my head super well um, what, you know, what the stuff is for ice. Except, of course, that fire is good against ice. But then, you know, most of the ices are ice water, so it's like... It's not really stuck in my head very well. Um... Let's see. Let's do... Let's do a quick attack. What will that do? Like, nothing. Oh, you're paralyzed. And, I, and these confuse me too, because they're not electric in this version, they're electric steel. So, okay. Let's see. He's electric steel, okay. This one we actually should use Holly for. Fire or fighting, thank you. Thank you, Koneko. Or ground, but levitate's a thing. Yeah, and I can never remember if Magnemites have levitate. And he got Holly confused. Okay, but she used Karate Chop, so it's all good. I love the birds. <laughs> yeah, the confusion animation in this game is really cute, with the birds flying around the head. Uh, yes, because Holly's confused, let's use Haley. I think it does have Levitate. You're probably right, it probably does. <clears throat> Flamethrower! Haley's a boss. Haley's a boss ass bitch. Nope. I'll keep her. See, so yeah, I've been thinking like when we move, when we move, I'm considering like, because I'll have a lot more space because I won't be sharing my office room with the spare bedroom. That'll be a separate place. I'm thinking of actually like maybe setting up a TV in here and um, in my new office and getting like a full switch and, you know, some of that sort of stuff. Oh, I need to unparalyze. And then, um, and if I have a, like a real switch instead of just the switch light, I can maybe stream some. Switch games? I feel like that would be really cool. Oh, Paralyzed Heal, there we go. Gengar not having Levitate, but the rest of the line having it is hilarious. Poor Gengar. It is poor Gengar, but he does have feats, so it wouldn't really make sense if he levitated. Um, he shouldn't, you know? He got feats. Okay, so I think... We teleport. Yes, okay. And we're going to clear out these rockets. I'm one of the four Rocket Brothers. What? All of your brothers were so crazy you all joined Rocket? I cannot believe it. Oh no. Oh no! It's our it's our nemesis poison Pokemon. <gasps> ah! Let's see. Is Double Kick going to do anything? Not really. We're going to have to bring Hypno back out. Hypno just gets way too much use. I'm trying like not to use him so much but i think for wheezing i'm gonna have to i'm just double checking the typing stuff to make sure that really is the best one 
Yeah. Yep, I need to use my psychic Pokemon. There we go. Oh shit! Oh, you better not kill Badger! <gasps> oh, that was almost a problem. I cannot believe it self destructed on me! Whew! Oh, you guys, I was about to be so mad if I lost Badger. Oh my god! Whew! I still need you, Badger. <laughs> still need you. Oof, okay. I guess it's good that Badger got all of those levels in that gym just now, and so, like, he was, like, really high level compared. Whew! My gosh! <laughs> um, let's see, who do we want to use? Uh, I guess we could use, we could use Taylor. Let's just use Taylor, because Taylor's really bulky, and now I'm, like, scared of the self-destruct. Hey, Jane! Welcome in, welcome in! I don't know if you saw towards the end of last stream, we, um, we got a, uh, a Doduo, and, um, we used the name Soggy, so we now have a, a Dodrio named Soggy chilling in the, um, in the PC, if we ever want to use it. I don't know that we will, it's not, like, the best Pokémon, but it felt like something that would speak to you. Because it has no tail, so... I thought that you would like that. More heads, less tails. <laughs> I love that. Exclamation Jane and exclamation kitty. Okay, what's going on here? How are my Pokemon doing? Oh my gosh, poor Badger. Alright, where's my potions? That's a perfect for Soggy. Oh good, I was hoping you would think so. I was really hoping you would think so. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I know you're racist against tails, as you've told me, so I had to make sure it was a tailless Pokemon. I was gonna, it, if, it might have been, the other choice for Soggy would have been like a water type, which has a tail, but I thought like if it's a fish tail, that's probably okay. Um, so yeah. Oh, he probably has like Magnemites and stuff, so let's put Holly in front. All right, scientist Parker. Oh. Oh, my nemesis Grimer. I'm leaving the door cracked for a minute because I think she's going to come right back in. <laughs> it's just the fight music, but it is very dramatic. Oh, it's not very effective. He still did a lot of damage. Um, what if we use Seismic Toss? There we go. Uh, Rude. Rude using Sludge. Holly's disabled no more. Well, that's good. I guess if he... Oh, Electrode. Okay. Um... Uh, yes. We're gonna switch over to Haley. Okay. I knew you'd want right back in, Riri. Okay. There we go. She was just thirsty. I forgot to bring the water bowl in here when the stream started. Alright. Flamethrower it, Haley. Grimer would be an excellent so soggy, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We might end up getting a Grimer later. Um, we will have an opportunity to get one, but it's, it's quite a ways away. Oh my gosh. Oh, good. I was nervous there, that paralysis. All right, and he's defeated. <clears throat> One thing I really also love about Legends Arceus 
is that status effects are basically nothing. They do not even affect you once the battle ends. And that's great, because that's another thing <laughs> that makes the game faster that you don't have to worry about, and I love that. All right, everybody healed. Let's get Liama back in front. Mm, I guess we can use a fresh water on Liama. There we go. Okay, we're ready. Let's go to the other side. Iron! Who are you? Are you hiding? Team Rocket's boss is terribly cruel. To him, Pokemon are just tools to be used. What will happen if the tyrant takes over our company? Well, I mean, you're just kind of hiding. You should probably, like, try to escape or do something, you know? Not just hide behind a plant. That's as far as you'll go. I mean, they only have Pokemon, so, like, I don't know. Unless you battle them, like, I really don't think it would be a problem, my dude. <clears throat> go, Liyama. Oh, and Jane, we got, um, we did the fighting dojo just now before this, and we got Hitmon Lee. That's what people voted for. Um, I think Kitty and Koneko voted, or maybe Kitty and Lily, I'm not sure. Um, but we got Hitmon Lee. Uh, he's a pure poison. No, I'll just try to shockwave him too and see what happens. The dabber, yeah. Because his sprite in this one is like, Kind of looks like a dab a little bit. Oh, lady, you snuck back in. Hello. I didn't even realize. She must have snuck in when I was letting Ree in or out. I thought she left us. She was done with us. But no, she back, being cute, sitting in her spot. It's like she knows like that's the corner that you sit to be in frame. What is happening here? There we go. Like, why is this Arbok not dead yet? <laughs> uh, yes, for coughing. Let's switch out to Taylor. I don't know if coughing, if the coughing's in here, if it would have self-destruct or if it's just the wheezings. But now I'm scared. <laughs> like, what if the coughings have it too? okay. Taylor can take it, though. Taylor can take the self-destruct. I won't have, like, a panic moment thinking I'm gonna lose a Pokemon if self-destruct happens. Uh, yes. Let's go back to Liyama for that. Yep. I'm glad y'all chose that, because I usually choose Hitmonchan, to be honest, so I was really surprised y'all chose Hitmonlee. But that's cool, because that's not what I, well, who I normally choose. I don't know, I just really love, like, the punchy with the, the boxing glove hands. I love the, d the design of that. That's who I usually choose. The Chan, not the Lee. Fun fact, if it's not obvious, the reason that they're named that is after Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. So they're Hitmon Chan and Hitmon Lee. Aha! All right, let's cure that paralysis. Mm -mm -mm. Am I going past it? No, Paralyzed Heal, there you are. Oh, who was I on? I thought I was on my first... Oh, no, I was on Taylor. Alright, well, there you go, Liama. Okay. The next floor we need to go to is down to floor three. So many floors here. Okay, here we go. Alright, that's the warp we need to take next, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it's that one. I don't know. I'm gonna have to read my notes again and hope they say. But we're gonna fight some rockets first. <clears throat> it's the one on the... Oh, I need to fix Liyama's power points. That is low! 
He needs more shockwaves. <clears throat> uh, yes. Oh, no, no, no. Hmm, how do I want to do this? We need to switch to Taylor because Liam is too low. And that Hypno might have Psychic. And we do not want to kill Liama. So we're going to do this. I know the rock through might not do too much, but I'm just nervous. All right, that's fine. You can disable my rock throw. <clears throat> it's cool. It's cool. We'll just magnitude you. That's a good roll. That was a good roll on magnitude seven. It's not too bad. We can keep Taylor. So I had, for the first time since before the pandemic, actually good Chinese takeout today. So I don't know if anybody remembers this, but I think I've ranted about it on stream before. In my area, there's like four or five different Chinese places, and all of them are bad. Like, really bad. Like, inedible bad. Or at least they've gotten inedible bad during the pandemic. Before they were bad, but still edible. Uh, but now they are, like, totally, like, not. Um, like, I can't even eat them. They're really bad. But today, my roommate, on his way home from work, very, very kindly, got us um, takeout from the Chinese place that's, like, way across town. Because um, it was kind of like he was able to do that because he was on his way home from work. That's who I meant to heal. Um, so it was really, really nice. And we got to have actually good Chinese for like the first time, I think, in like two years. We had like uh, tangerine chicken and we had this like bean sprout. And um, I work for Silfco. What am I to do? We had this like bean sprout and uh, shiitake mushroom thing. And we had some lo mein noodles. Um, we had some of the dumplings. It was just, like, really good. Okay, I think it's this teleporter that I need to take. Yes, okay, that's where I wanted to land, on the second floor. I wanted to talk to her. Eek, no, stop, help! Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. I'm sorry, I thought. Well, forgive me if I teach you the Thunder Wave technique. Um, I don't know if I actually want to learn it, but just, I wanted to show that there's the Move Tutor here for Thunder Wave. Um, let's see what my options are. I don't think I want to do this. I think I want to keep the current moves. Because it just causes paralysis. So, I think we're good. Yes. But there we go, there's the Thunder Wave move tutor. Alright, so then we're gonna go back. <clears throat> um, okay, so then we're gonna take this warp down here. And we get Focus Punch. We still can't open these guys, so we gotta warp back again. And then we're gonna go up to floor four. I wanted to make sure I didn't spend like a huge amount of time wandering in this place, because you it can it's really easy to just wander around and end up lost because of the way that the warps work, and it takes a while to get to the- where you can find the key card. So I have, like, notes here about, like, which warp to take in which order. To make sure that I don't end up running around and, uh, and not progressing <laughs> as we're going through here. Because this is actually something that, um, that is a little bit complicated. Now you're thinking with portals, I mean warps. Exactly, Koneko, exactly. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything because there are a lot of warps like the two that I just showed you that like take you to these like specific little hidden rooms that you that's really hard to get to any other way. Uh, yes, for Cubone, we're gonna bring out Holly. Although I think I should have brought out Gyarados. I think that's what we discovered last time is that I should have brought out Gyarados. We're gonna seismic toss this Cubone. I think that'll be fine. And Holly's strong anyway, so that Cubone won't hurt her. I thought for a second I saw just like a tiny, tiny sliver of health 
Still on that cube, and I was about to say, what? Uh, yes, let's switch to Liama. I'm trying to get Liama good and leveled up because I want to... It's going to be, like, something... It's got a bug move that I can potentially use, like the pin missile. Let's see what it does, actually, against the Zubat. Probably not much. Yeah, but see, it's like a multi-move like that. You can see, like, it hits a bunch of times. Um, so I'm hoping I can use that some against the, uh, Psychic Gym. Yeah, super strong. <clears throat> Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. I still haven't seen the new Batman yet, but I really want to. I heard good things. I heard it was actually pretty good. Um, and I want it to be good. You know? I just like, it's just like my dream that all the people that complained about the idea of having Robert Pattinson as Batman would now have to eat their words. I mean, I don't know, because I haven't seen it, so maybe it's like not that great. Maybe it's just like an average passable Batman movie. Like, I want it to be really good. In my mind, that would, like, be amazing. Oh, he's got fighting. Let's just bring out Haley. <clears throat> light him up, up, up. Light him up, up, up. Light him up, up, up. You're on fire! That should be good, right? Yes. Thank you. Oh, I have to switch earbuds. This earbud's about to die. <gasps> I have to put in the other one. Hang on a second, guys. I know, I know. Battery low. There we go. You can go back in the charging pod. Okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. I have sound. Uh, no. We'll keep Haley out. We'll keep Haley out with the drowsy. So that's on like my list of stuff to watch. Um, Taiko Watiti has a new show out. It's about pirates. I think it was called something like um, something like Dead, Dead something. I can't remember. Um, oh, this flag means death. I think it was this flag means death. We tried to watch it and it was okay. Um, it wasn't that funny to be honest compared to other Taiko Watiti stuff that we've watched. We usually like love his stuff and think he's hilarious, but. Um, you know, it didn't work out that way. Okay, so we are on... What floor are we on right now? Oh, that's floor five. So we're on floor four. Um, okay, we got the item. And let's go up to floor five. Okay, we're going to beat up the guys on this floor. Show Team Rocket a little respect. No thank you. Um, but I was really surprised that it wasn't that funny because I usually like absolutely love Taiko Watiti stuff. Like I loved, um, I love, uh, <clears throat> what we do in the shadows, you know, and he has a role in, um, Free Guy where he plays like the evil CEO and he's absolutely hilarious in that role. Um, but he, we only watched the first three episodes and he was barely in it. Like he finally showed up a little bit in the, um, third episode. So maybe if there was more Taika, it would be I w it would be better. I don't really know, but we weren't that impressed with it, and I was kind of sad about that. What Liama missed? Oh my God! Why do you keep missing? Um, let's do a shockwave. At least you'll get stabbed with that, and you won't miss. Maybe a pin missile is not the best move. Maybe it's like accuracy is not. It where it should be. Alright, take that little sliver down with a quick attack. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, welcome in, welcome in. How's it going? How's it going, Kay? Hello! Okay, was there anybody else? Where's Leoma's health? I feel like that Hypno kind of hit it a lot. Yeah. Not gonna be risky. 
Just go and got back from Din Din's. Ooh, what did you eat? Did you have something tasty? Something delicious? Tell me about it. What? There shouldn't be any children in here. Well, the guard outside was sleeping, so I don't know what to tell you. A juggler. Why is a juggler in here when, you know, he's been taken over by Rocket? Answer me that, sir. All right, let's try this pin missile thing again. We'll see how that goes. And he keeps missing. I guess just, like, the, the accuracy is just not good enough when it comes to pin missile. I guess it's just not... No, but see, look, it does a lot of damage for the psychic types. No, the... I wish it was more accurate. I wish I could fix that. Me and the fan went to Cha-Cha's. Oh. Okay. Did you... Am I reading that you had a burger at Cha-Cha's? You had a burger at the Mexican restaurant. Okay. 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 Do we need to have a talk? Like, do we need to have a talk? Um, I mean, we can have a talk. <sighs> okay, I'm so disappointed in you. I don't usually like Mexican food. I just went to get out of the house. Who doesn't like Mexican food? Kay. Kay, do you have like weird food things? Is this gonna be like, is this like, where, cause like I can't talk about food with certain people cause they have weird food things. You know what I mean? So like, tell me now if like, do you have a weird food thing? Should I not be making fun of you for your food choices? Cause like, I really, really want to bully you for your food choices right now. Like really, I really, really want to bully you for your food choices. I cannot get behind this. I cannot get behind this. What? Uh, oh my god, the auto mod thought because you said you didn't like Mexican, like you meant Mexican people or something. Mod, she meant Mexican food, it's fine. She's not being crazy. She's not being crazy. Uh, let's give Haley a little heal, a little, little heal right there. Um, uh, I don't like Mexican because it's can't. Oh, oh, so you don't like spicy. I can't really get behind that either, Koneko, but I can understand. Like, if you didn't grow up on spicy, it can be kind of hard. Um, I don't have weird food things, but I'm a, little, I'm a picky eater, and I'm weird about some textures. Oh, gosh. Okay. Auto mods hilarious. It went off on me because of a typo. A typo? Like, did you accidentally, like, type in a bad word with your typo? Is that what happened? That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so when I just fixed it, what it did, like, and I didn't intend for this, but what it did was it edited it so you're allowed to say, I don't like Mexican in my chat. But, like, if you're talking about Mexican people, like, no, you're not allowed to say that. Like, I would totally ban you for saying crap like that. We're talking about food, though. Like, come on. I did try fried ice cream for the first time tonight. Fried ice cream is excellent. I love fried ice cream. Did you know fried ice cream is, like, a totally, like, American-Mexican thing? They don't really serve that very much in Mexico. At least I've never seen fried ice cream served in Mexico. Yeah, I typed a thing and I thought I said a bad word. Oh, my gosh. Um, it wasn't awful, but I wasn't expecting the texture. I love fried ice cream. See, like, I just, I'm sorry. I can't relate to picky either. It's Kay, I love you, and you're a wonderful, beautiful person. And, um, and I love having you in my stream. But I'm just saying, like, I love all food. <laughs> um, I love all food. Oh, no, I should have switched to Taylor. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I love all food. It's, like, very, very few foods that I, that I don't like and won't eat. Oh, well, Flamethrower did a good job anyway. Um... And, and, uh, I will try anything, even if, like, I think I won't like it, like, I will try anything. And even if, like, I really don't like a food, every few years I'll try it again, like, just to see if, like, my taste's changed or something, or if maybe my experiences have been bad, and, like, I'll just, I'm, I'm gonna have a good one now. Um, so, yeah. <gasps> it's common for autistic folks to have weird food quirks. I've heard that. I've heard that before, that, um, the, because... A lot of autistic people have very, um, are sensitive to stimulus. It's like the stimulus sensitivity means that, like, food is one of those stimuluses that they can be sensitive to. I've heard that before. Can confirm, am autistic and very particular about foods. Well, I guess that confirms that I'm not autistic, because I will eat anything. Not that I ever really thought I was autistic. Um, 
but you know, now I know. <laughs> Although I'm sure there are autistic people that don't have weird food things. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, well, sorry if I bully you guys for your food issues. Um, I just can't, like, I just can't understand it. I'm sorry. I guess that's like an ableist thing of me, but I just really can't understand it. Um, I just love food, you know? I, I like eating different foods. I, you know, just can't, I can't wrap my head around it. I am too, though not officially diagnosed. My therapist wants me to get tested. Though. If your therapist wants you to get tested, you should try to. Oh, never mind. $2,500? Maybe not. Maybe self-diagnosis is fine. <laughs> I don't say no to anything anymore since I found out anchovies are in Caesar salad. Anchovies are in Caesar salad. That's what makes it salty. I don't mind bullying me, mommy. <laughs> uh, I don't want to bully people for things that they can't help. It's just that, like, for whatever reason, picky eaters, like, just brings out the bully in me. It just makes me want to, like, it makes me want to bully. I don't know. I'm just like, what's wrong with you people? Like, I just, like, that's the thought that pops into my head is awful. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Koneko. Any salad is Caesar salad if you stab it enough times. Et tu crouton? Alright, where are we going next? I think I beat up all the rockets in here. Um, let's see. Oh, I need to jump on this warp. Yeah, um, that's my understanding too. A lot of autistics have self-diagnosed because it's just, it's very hard to get a diagnosis. And, um, and I, I don't know if like as an adult, how much an, a diagnosis helps you versus not. Um, I don't really know. I guess it just depends on what level of functioning you have. So yeah, um, I, I know that a lot. Uh, a lot too. A lot of people that I know are, that are autistic have never been officially diagnosed. It's just more like they know because like either it's super obvious or they have like um, an autistic relative that they could figure it out from or, you know, situations like that. <clears throat> Parameters are so different for women versus men. The testing is so expensive. Yeah, that's true. Autism, yeah, I think my understanding is like autism in women is frequently um, misdiagnosed because of the way that autistics tend to mask and um, and that plus misogyny <laughs> means that it's very hard for women to get diagnosed. Allows you get professional help if necessary. I needed it to get through my studies. I'm otherwise high functioning, but it was very obvious and I couldn't get help. I need it without a diagnosis. Well, then I'm glad you were able to get one, Koneko. I wonder if like you make it all the way through school and you make it into the working world if there's much if there's much benefit for it or if it's really just like super beneficial when you're um like school and, and college age you know or university age or whatever i guess it depends on what level of schooling you want to go to is there anything else that i can do here or is it literally just warp back oh no there's one other rocket that i can fight i'm one of the four rocket brothers oh gosh another one <clears throat> oh no uh let's switch to liama i might need to go back and um heal at the poke center since i'm so low on the pps Therapist says I'd probably be what used to be labeled as Asperger's syndrome, but it got folded over, so it's just autism spectrum. Yeah. Oh, don't hurt yourself, Liama. Just zap him. Liama, what are you doing? Oh, good. Snapped out of confusion. It's helpful in my field. It also helps potential employers know that I function a little differently. Well, I think if it's if it's helpful to you, it might be worth spending the money on it. You know what I mean? Like if it helps you advocate for your for your needs and it helps like that, you know, situation take place, then I think it might be worth it. Two thousand is a lot of money, though. Like that's a lot of money. Um, that's a lot, a lot of money. You know? <laughs> uh, so I can totally see why a lot of people would not get diagnosed with that price tag.
Drowsy fainted. Okay. Uh, no. We're gonna do pin missile again on that hip, no? I think previous diagnosis might have missed it in me because ADHD, which was very strong when I was little. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Um, is is uh, autism and, a and ADD, ADHD, like those type of things, are those typical comorbidities? Like, do people tend, do a lot of people have both? Um, is that normal? Oh, poison gas. I don't like that. <clears throat> Mm. Okay, we're gonna pin missile. There we go. I was like, if it misses, and we can get hit with that poison again. Oh no. Um. Okay, we're gonna have to bring in someone else. That's a little too low. A little too low for comfort on Liama there. 60 to 80% comorbidity. That makes sense to me. Like, I feel like when I think about the symptoms um, and the people that I know that are autistic and then also the people that I know that have, like, some kind of ADD, like, there's a lot of similarities on how they end up functioning, I feel like, when I think about, like, especially in the workplace. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of the same, a lot of very similar uh, ways to function. Good friend of mine was diagnosed with ADHD and didn't get diagnosed with autism until last year because the ADHD and autism overlap perfectly. Oh, I believe it. Oh, I need to heal that poison. Where's my antidotes? There's a few very minor atypical symptoms that help them get diagnosed properly. Wow, that's crazy. I know proper diagnosis like helps with all of those things if you're trying when you're trying to advocate for yourself, so you know. That's crazy. Alright, we found the key card. Alright. But we are actually going to Okay. We're actually going to go we're on floor five right now. So we're gonna remember that we're on floor five right now. That's where we stopped. We're gonna go back down to floor one. Maybe I should have gone to exit. No, exit's probably just exiting the menu. Yeah, this is where I wanna be, because I wanna go heal. And then we're gonna come back and go back to floor five and keep going. Yes, we got the key card. So now, Sylphco will open up quite a bit to us. And we'll be able to get around it way easier. Yes, please heal my mons. Yes, I live in Texas. I'm not sure how to, how to be di get diagnosed. I'm worried that I'd like test negative too. And then I'd be back to square one. Oh. Yeah, I have no idea how testing for stuff like that works. So I don't know how, um, how often like negatives come up and then like false negatives versus like false positives and all that stuff. Like I have no idea. I'm sure that must be something that happens sometimes. I don't know. But I feel like if you're if you're functioning good now and you're getting the accommodations that you need to get, it might not be worth spending two thousand five hundred dollars. But if you're not, it might be worth it. You know. <clears throat> okay, so we're back on floor five, and okay, I had to get my fingers back on the thing. Let's open up this room since so we have the key card now. Team Rocket is an uproar over some intruder. That's you, right? That is me. That is me. Um, I thought... I thought there was more than just a guy in here. I thought there was an item. Guess not. Okay. Whatever. At least we talked to him. I haven't heard of negative tests, but I've heard of inaccurate interpretations, usually because of overlapping symptom stuff. That makes sense. Oh, there's an item in there. What's this room? Oh, I've been in here already. Let's go to this room. There's the item. A protein! Will you talk to me, sir? Those thugs that took over our building. Their boss said he was looking for strong Pokemon. 
I hope our president managed to avoid trouble. Well, we're gonna find out, sir. We're gonna find out. Alright, where- what levels? What are my levels at? Alright, Haley's pretty- pretty high. Liama's pretty high. The level cap is 41. I really want to get Liama to that 41 level cap that I've put for Sylphco. <clears throat> I am one of the four Rocket Brothers! Oh, another one. Does an accurate interpretation connected? Does like an accurate interpretations mean um, where they give you? They, it's not that they don't give you a diagnosis, but they give you like a different diagnosis than what they probably should have given you. Is like that kind of situation? Like they know there's something, so they pick something, but it's not really the thing they should have picked. No, I'm going to keep with Liyama. I want to try to get Liyama to level 41. <clears throat> and I almost killed him with one. Yeah, I mean, getting misdiagnosed by accident, like what happened to that friend of mine. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Oh dear, oh dear, help me, please! That man next to me, he's such a coward! Ah! <sighs> they must have targeted Sylph for our Pokemon products. Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon. The Rockets came and took over the building! And there's always a chance that you have both, and it's only within like the last 15 to 20 years that you've been able to be diagnosed with both. Before that is only you can have one or the other, not both. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. There is. These people in this building are like, it's like total office gossip, even though they're like being <laughs> violently taken over by Team Rocket. Um, they're still like, you know, being office gossip bitches. For some reason, like, office won't come out of my mouth. It's like, Ossif is what wants to keep coming out of my mouth. That's not the word I want to use. I want to say office. Not been in the office in so long, I can't even say the word. <clears throat> I think that's also what kind of happened to me. Oh, because that was the closest. But I felt like it was so missing. Okay, yep. That makes sense. I don't really know much about that stuff. I mean, I've been to like therapy and counseling and things like that, but I've never been like diagnosed with anything. I think the only thing you can probably diagnose me with is sometimes life sucks. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've seen the, that color wheel thing. Um, that's pretty cool. So that feels more accurate to you as someone who, like, is on that spectrum? Because I thought it was pretty cool when I first saw it, but, um, you know, I mean, I don't really know. All right. Got some more items. It's like your, your brain reaches into a grab bag of symptoms and then picks ten, and that's what gets called your autism, but you could also just spill the bag. And have all of them! <laughs> Yay! All the symptoms! Yeah, I don't really know. So I, I can give you guys my take on like a lot of that stuff, and I think this especially relates to like um, autism and, and ADHD and some of those kinds of um, diagnoses. But the more that like I meet people and work and like think about our world and like the way that it's structured, the more that I think like a lot of our like mental health issues such as things where it's like your brain just straight up works differently which i think autism adhd kind of falls into that um the more i think just like there's just like diversity of like how brains function and we don't do enough to accommodate and we try to like just put people in these little boxes and expect them to like go through school and go through work um, you know, thinking and behaving a certain way, and I just don't think that there's 
ever been a time where we have expected so much homogeneity from our population, um, like in the history of humanity. And so like we've got these labels for things that are really just like perfectly fucking normal and are just like diversity of how brains work. Anyway, that's my take. My very uneducated <laughs> layman's don't know what I'm talking about take built purely from observations of, uh, of my friends and co-workers. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> The current world is not made for neurodivergent people and it's kind of dumb sometimes. Yeah, and I just don't even think like, I don't even think neurodivergent people are like divergent. I think it's just like diverse in the same way that other like genetic traits are diverse. Like there's more than one hair color or there's more than one, um, there's, there's lots of different like height differences or, you know, like all the different things that are just vary across a population. I think brains are like that too. Taylor, you missed! You missed! I was reading, oh, actually reading this in my research a while back. Wow, academics agree with me. Okay, that makes me feel validated. And it theorized by a few people that ADHD or autism are leftover instinctual urges. Like for example, an ADHD brain would be an excellent hunter because they're very movement oriented, right? Yeah, and like, I just, I think in like, um, in prior human societies, like prior to industrialization, there was more variety of like ways that you could make your life work and fit into your society than there are in our post-industrialized world where we expect like a lot of homogeneity. And it's kind of like luck of the draw if you get a brain that fits capitalism or a brain that doesn't fit capitalism, you know? All right, where was I going next? Um, I think I just, okay, I think from here I just need to go up each floor and use the key card and just kind of do it like that. Actually, should I go back down? No, where's the next, okay, there's the stair. Let's go back to the first floor and just kind of check with the key card from there. Oh no, floor one. Is there any key card stuff that I need to do at floor two? I know I already fought all these guys. Oh, there's a key card. Oh, but I already talked to that lady. That's the move tutor lady. But I'll, I'll let her out. Here, you can escape now if you want to, lady. Help, I'm a sylph employee. Then why are we fighting? Then why are we fighting if you're a sylph employee, sir? <laughs> but yeah, I think it's like, it's not even like hunter gatherer society necessarily. Like, I don't think that's like all of it. Like, I even think in agricultural societies, there was a lot more variety in the ways that you could structure your day and the ways that you could structure your tasks um, that would work totally fine for like ADHD and autistic people and stuff like that that we just do not accommodate for in today's world. I think that's really sad. Okay, we'll turn on the baby cam, Kitty. We'll turn on the baby cam. Oh, shoot. Hang on, baby cam still has... <laughs> baby cam still has the Harry Potter stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, let's make it pink. And then go back. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's move the baby cam down slightly so you guys can see. It looks like Lady Lady is in, out of frame in that corner. So let me adjust the camera just a little bit. around you. There you go, lady. Here's the star. There. Now you've got two angles of lady. <laughs> two angles. She's gotten big, you guys. She's like a really, she's really long um, in her body shape. And like Oreo's really chunky in his body shape. 
<laughs> I love her too, even though she drives me fucking crazy. <laughs> but she's really cute. And she really loves me, so... And I really love her too. Like, she harasses me at work, but like, I harass her ass too. If I see her sleeping and she looks cute, she's gonna get pets, even if she wants to keep sleeping. And I'm gonna wake her up. The police in a nearby city have a team of people with classic autism who are great at recognizing faces and tracking people. They employ that team to scour through security footage and track the movements of people who got caught or are highly suspected of doing a bad. These people are amazing at what they do because they're hardwired for facial recognition. Oh my god, that's amazing. You know, that's one superpower that I don't have that I really wish I had. It's like super embarrassing, but I cannot connect names and faces and I really can't really remember faces and I have a lot of trouble even recognizing faces in some regards um is really really awful but like I'm just not wired that way I can't do it it is very embarrassing that's why it's part of why I like remote meetings and remote work and stuff like that because people's names are like right underneath their picture and then I never forget <laughs> No, I can remember a lot of things about people, you know, like, and, and y'all know, because you come in here and I'll remember, like, things you've told me before, like, ho hobbies you have and, you know, stuff like that, stuff that you've told me that's going on in your life and things like that, but connecting names to faces, like, that is just something that my brain just does not do. It doesn't put those two things together, like, those two, like, faces are just not stored properly in my brain meat. <laughs> They're just not. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but it's very embarrassing. Because a lot of people like take offense, you know, and I'm like, it's not you, it's me, I swear. But, you know, some people, some people really take offense. Like, how do you not remember me? And it's like, I do, I just don't remember what you look like. Sorry. Tell me something about yourself. <laughs> I'm awful at remembering names, but I remember faces really quickly. Names just take days or even weeks to connect. Totally understand what you mean, Neko. Koneko, totally understand. <clears throat> I think I just don't store the faces in my brain. Like, I think that's what's happening for me, but I don't really know. I just know I really, really struggle. And, um, and now that we've been working remotely for like two years, nobody knows <laughs> that I have this awful, terrible problem um, where I don't remember what people's names are when I look at them. Or even remember if I've spoken to them before sometimes. Because I just don't remember what people look like. And it has like an, a name. I think there's like a face blindness. That's like a name. I think I have that. Like that's how it feels to me. Like they just, faces just don't register. In my brain. Uh, yes. Come on, Taylor. Take that wheezing. <clears throat> like in person, I super have to fake it. Like people come up to me and be like, hi. And I'm like, oh my God, who the heck is that? I don't remember. Until they start talking and explaining why they want to talk to me. But sometimes they take a long time to get to that point. <laughs> And then I'm like, shoot! Oh yeah, Weezing has Levitate. I shouldn't have done that. Um, we'll use... Uh, roll out. He's almost dead anyway. It's okay. There we go, Taylor. Level 39. I feel like I'm kind of neglecting my Gyarados, not really using him very much in this area. I should probably level him up too. I don't know why I'm neglecting him. Okay, I think that's all. Yeah, that's all for over here. Where are we at now? Floor four, okay. Maybe after floor four, we'll go here, like heal again. Is there anywhere I can get into with the key card? Okay, I've already fought you. What's in here? Lots of items. I'm gonna head out, sleepy time for me. Well, thank you, Koneko. I feel like you you were gonna go to sleep at the very beginning of the stream, but um, you've made it like <laughs> three fourths of the way through. So thank you very much for, for coming. And I feel like I'm a little bit more educated now also about um, ADHD and autism since you guys have told me so much. So thank you so much for that, Koneko. 
My Pokemon are my loyal servant. Okay. I don't know if that's weird or normal. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think of my cats as servants. I don't think they could be even if they wanted to be. They wouldn't be very good at that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's get Politician out here. Like, he's kind of low. It's 2 a.m. My brain decided insomnia needs to happen. Well, well do, do less insomnia if you can and get some sleep. I believe in you. I'm sending you sleepy thoughts. Sleepy thoughts. Ooh. That's why when I'm watching a movie, then should I see someone from the movie? I watched 10 years ago and I'm like, him, it's him. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> yep. I have to like put forth effort sometimes in regards to uh, that sort of thing. And I'm definitely the kind of person that will forget the actor's name and instead name like whatever their most iconic character was. So, and I know that's like not, <laughs> that's kind of insulting even to the actors, but that's just, it's just like the best my brain can do sometimes. <laughs> Charles Spain. Oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. All right. So Liama's at the level cap. Uh, let me get a paralyze here. He doesn't have a real name. He's just Charles Spain. Oh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, shoot, his actual name escapes my mind right now. I was about to say name has become Geralt to me, even though he also played Superman. And I'm doing it right now like I can't remember his real name. Henry Cavill. There we go. Took a minute to access it. I guess I had to go through the Rolodex. <laughs> Zach McGowan. I know because he's super attractive. Oh, yeah. I mean, some of them stick in my head. Like, I've seen them in enough stuff that it sticks. Okay, I'm back to floor five. All right, I think I'm... Let's go heal. Because we're low on the moves. And then we'll go up to floor six. And I think from there, we can, since we have the key card now, we can just go floor by floor and, like, keep going up. So we'll do that. Alright, thank you so much for um, chatting with me today. Okay, I will. And hang out, because I'm sure we will raid somebody at the end of this, so then maybe you can come back to, like, a really fun stream. And when you when you eventually return. Okay, everybody's healed. Let's go back in. And we're gonna go up to floor six. <clears throat> we are gonna get another Pokemon this run. I only have one name still in the queue. So if anybody wants to submit names, you can. And if you remember what Pokemon we get in this area, then maybe you can submit something that would be good for that Pokemon. Because it is a particular one that we get right here. Okay, did we finish complete this floor? I think we completed this floor. Okay, we're gonna go up to seven then. Floor seven, there we go. And now we're on a floor we haven't done. I'm one of the four Rocket Brothers. So I guess that's the last one. Because I think we've fought three, three Rocket Brothers so far. So we're on the number four Rocket Brother. Alright, Badger. Go for it. <clears throat> Psychic is such a strong move. It's like OP. In Gen 1, like, Psychic types were like the bomb diggity. And you can see why, because Psychic is a freaking awesome move. Also, I guess because the top legendary Mewtwo was Psychic, so that's probably partly why that gave that impression too. <clears throat> Alright, I don't know if I want Badger in front, because I feel like I need to get some other Pokemon some levels. Like, let's put Politician in front. We've neglected him, so... It looks like Holly needs to level up some too, and then these guys are all 39, so that's good. Okay. Alright, we're organized. We're organized. I like that. 
Once you have the key card, this place is cake. But without it, it's really frustrating. A child intruder? That must be you. I love that, like, they're acknowledging that I'm a child. And, like, nobody just, like, picks me up. Nobody just, like, hands under the armpits, lift, and take me out the building. Just no one thinks to do that. It's crazy. All right, let's Dragon Rage. What's that gonna do to this Sand True? Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's do that again. Yeah, I got politicians and dragon moves, you guys. When I leveled him up. So he's like, good now. Although I probably shouldn't have him fighting Sand Slash. Let's get, uh, let's get Holly to fight Sand Slash. Probably shouldn't have a water type fighting the ground type. It's karate jump! Oh, that was a good crit. That was a really good crit, Holly. Good job. Oh, and you didn't get poisoned either? Wow, nice. All right, all right. Okay. Let's go over here. Is there anything down this little corridor? Yes, there's an item. I got a calcium. What's up? You want to fight? You mistook me for a silk worker? Well, I didn't know. I mean, I literally was like, sup, you want to fight? <laughs> so no, I didn't. You should listen to me better next time. <clears throat> All right, I don't... Is Gyarados going to be able to do anything? Probably not much. Oh no, well he got a crit, so that was good. Oof, Sonic Boom, stop that. Probably doesn't need a Water Pulse again. There we go. <clears throat> I don't know if we're going to finish Silphco this stream looking at what time it is. We might actually have to finish it next stream. I really had no idea, like, how long Silphco was going to take us to get through. I just knew it was one of, like, the longer, like, I guess you could say, dungeons in the game. I mean, it's kind of a dungeon. It's like a contained area, and you fight and fight and fight. Um, so I knew it was going to be super long, but I thought we would finish it this stream. But it's looking like maybe that's not gonna, what's going to happen. We're going to have to finish it next stream. Oof! Mucks are so annoying. But it's about to die. Goodbye, Muck! Yay! All done. All defeated. Oh, I need to cure my poison. Where is it? Did I go past it? I must have gone past it. I wish I could, like, organize this. <laughs> I wish there was a button to organize this. Where's my antidotes? I must just keep passing them. Okay. Slow down, Karen. Maybe read instead of talking. But I don't want to have dead air. It's boring. Well, I guess I can use the full heal. Maybe I ran out of antidotes? I guess I must have used them all. Okay, well, we have a bunch of full heals. We'll use that. Oh. I meant to full heal Gyarados. There we go. Oh, my Gyarados really loves me. He comes up really close. It means he has very high friendship. Okay. And we'll use a potion. There we go. The politician feels all better. That's what we want. We want our politicians to feel good. Uh-oh, I smell a little mouse. I thought I was a child. I'm a mouse now. I've been demoted to mouse. What is this? What is this? <clears throat> All right, let's water pulse him. So this place has like 12 floors, I think, maybe 11. I think it's 11 floors and then there's the top floor, I think. Um, 
and we're only on like floor seven. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying like, I do not think we're going to be finishing this little dungeon area tonight before it's time to move on. Uh, no, we'll just keep him. Because he can still get the flying ones good. Good job, politician. Nope. We'll just keep him. We can get him some levels. I mean, we already got Jolteon up to the level cap. So let's see if we can get some of our others either up there or close to it. Because that is less grinding that I would have to do off stream, and that is always nice. Nope, we're gonna keep them. We're gonna keep them. But I cannot remember where that Pokemon is that we're gonna get. I thought we would get him this stream, but we'll find out. Defeated! And he just watches me. He just watches me open the door. You! It's really dangerous here! You came to save me? You can't! Oh, don't be so defeatist, lady. Team Rocket was after the Master Ball, which catches any Pokémon. It would be bad if Team Rocket took over Sylph or our Pokémon. Well, then, like, let them! Like, why are you giving this task to a literal child that is messed up? Oh, I have to warp into there. That's right. I can't get into that specific room with the keycard. There's our rival. Yep, yep, yep. I remember that area. You don't turn back, I'll call for backup. Oh, we must have gone. We must have been here before. But I bet we were here without the keycard. Now I remember going in there. I remember fighting that guy. Oh, but there's a keycard area. Okay. Bingo, the keycard opened the door. I wonder if Sylph is finished. Nah, I save you guys. I'll save the day with my Pokemans. Because I'm going to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Dun 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 dun. Okay, so we must have already fought him. Alright, well let's go in this room. Oh, there's nothing in here. <laughs> Oops. Alright, is there anything over here? Yes. Oh! Oh, good! It's the napping spot. What are we on? Floor 9, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Pokémon seem to adore you, kid. <laughs> you can get the drowsy politician. Don't let it defeat you. And I think if I remember right, that bed is right there, and then the warp that's right around this corner is what will kind of take us to like doing our rival and stuff, but we're not going to do that quite yet. We're going to take the stairs and continue kind of like how we're doing and getting through each floor and fighting all the guys there. Because after we beat this area, the rockets all disappear and we don't want to um, not take advantage of that sweet, sweet experience. So we want to make sure we fight all the little rockets. Because they I'm pretty sure they will not be here after I beat the boss of this area. Hurt yourself in your confusion, Grimer. Yeah! It's a good job. Man, Lady looks like she's lounging good. I hope I sleep good like that tonight. Oh, all those toys are in the middle of the bed, by the way. Because she was so bonkers while I was working today. Oh no! This is what killed the other one! Revenge. That's what killed Landon, you guys. That revenge move. That's what killed Landon. I just had some flashbacks. 
I'm gonna center myself. I'm gonna center myself. Whew! Luckily, the Machop's revenge was not that crazy. Oh, sorry, lady. Did I disturb you with my fear? Oh, no, you lay back down. Okay, good. Good kitty. <sighs> yeah, I think the warp. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty sure that's where that, that's where that goes. Okay. While we're here, let's heal again. Why not? Couldn't hurt. Okay. Next floor. Wow, I'm scared. I just opened the door, lady, so you can get out now. You don't have to be scared. Welcome to floor 10. So good of you to join me. You're welcome. Team Rocket's about to battle. We'll keep water pulsing since he gets stabbed with that. <clears throat> and I like when it confuses them. That's a nice little bonus there. Oh no. I guess, see, I didn't expect that move to do so much, and I'm still not 100% sure why it did quite so much to Landon, because what I'm experiencing now with Politician is more like what I expected that move to do. Maybe it's the poison typing causes that? I'm, I'm not really sure, but maybe I shouldn't be so scared of that move. Alright, let's get all these items, you guys. Alright, Carbos. We got a rare candy. We got an Ultra Ball. Oh yeah. We're doing good, we're doing good. Do you want to fight me? Uh, hello? Enough of your silly games. Okay, you do want to fight me. You just made me chase you for it. Why you make me chase you, man? Why you make me chase you? You know what we both want. So just give it to me. Why beat her on the butch about it? Alright, let's water pulse this Magnemite. <clears throat> well, if we're on floor 10, I don't know, maybe we will do okay. Uh, no. We'll try to get coughing with the politician. Oh no, he's poisoned. No continues left. Nope, I got you. And this is a Nuzlocke, so... Your Pokemon are dead now. Uh, let's use a full heal. Get rid of that poison. Okay, next floor. Okay, no, it is the last floor. Eleven's the last floor. Okay. Holt, do you have an appointment with my boss? Oh, he's got a lot of Pokemon. My gosh. Oh, but they're low level. If you're, like, the one that's right in front of your boss, then why... Why are your Pokemon such low level? It's weird.
Nope, we're gonna keep going. <clears throat> nope. I don't know why I was neglecting using Politician before. Like, he's absolutely wrecking. He's doing great with the water pulses. No problems. And he'll get level 39, so he'll be up there matching the rest of them. That'll be good. Demolished. Okay. Sink. Oh, I have to go around. Okay. So we're gonna go down to the floor nine, where we can get some heals, and I'm pretty sure that warp that's around the corner from there has something in it, so I just want to step on it real quick and make sure of where that goes. Don't give up. I won't. Don't worry. Where does this warp go? I think I've already talked to you. Hmm. <laughs> Team Rocket said that I felt them they let me study Pokemon. Okay. But it's not that warp. I'm just looking at my notes again. Okay. Um We're gonna have to go down to floor three. That's how we do it. This is how we do it. Well, uh, we're gonna go down to floor three. And we already unlocked all the doors. So I think it's... This one? Yep, it's that one. Okay. Is there anything else in this room? Where's this warp go? Oh, that's the... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's why I was remembering that warp being important. Because it's like a shortcut back to where you can heal. Alright, he always starts with Pidgey, so let's put Haley in front, and let's get him. What kept you, Karen? Haha, <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down, not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Don't worry. Don't worry, Booty. I got better. Still, I see you still don't have a full team, Booty. What's up with that? Why does it take you so long to get a full team? Don't understand. Man, his Pokemon are strong, though. I will admit. Taking two hits to get that Pidgeot down is... <clears throat> Nerve-wracking. Um, yes. Who would be good against Gyarados? I guess Badger? Let's do Badger. Don't really... I would have used Landon, but of course we do not have Landon anymore. So we'll use Badger. That should be okay. Because he's going to use special attack, not regular attack. So he should still be good against the Gyarados. Ooh, no. That's not so good. Um, man, that Psychic does not do a lot of damage. Skiridos is bulky. Oof. Oof, I do not like this. Um, let's do one more Psychic. Hopefully that'll kill it. Nope! Yeah, I know, but it still doesn't do much. Okay, one more Psychic will definitely kill it, and then I should be good. And we'll have to put Badger away. Okay. Uh, Charizard. Yes. So now, now you get my Gyarados. Go, politician. Mm-hmm. Now you're intimidated. Gosh, he's level 40. Mm. Ouch. 
Good thing I have good type advantage. Oh, I'm under leveled. I'm so under leveled. Oof. Oof, this is not good. This is not good, you guys. I think I can still do it without losing any Pokemon, though. Okay, good level up, politician. Execute. Um, yes. I will switch to Haley for Execute. Since he has a grass typing, but he's also psychic. But still, flamethrower should be good. Maybe, hopefully it won't take like three freaking hits. Like everything's taking like three hits to kill. Which makes me very, very nervous. Oh good. <laughs> An Oko. Oh good, at least I got one Oko. Okay. Who else does he have? What's his last one? I'm trying to think of who he's used. Oh, Alakazam. Oh shit. Um... No, let's flamethrow with Alakazam. Oh, it's only level 35. That's not too bad. Flamethrower should do good. Oh, good. Oh, good, good, good. He's not attacking me. Using Foresight was kind of a waste there, my friend, but I'm so glad you did that. Whew, okay. Oh man, so you're ready for boss rocket? Okay, I did it! I'm not gonna lie, I was like a little bit nervous. I'm moving up ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. Am I a genius or what? I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Karen, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. Whew, okay. Oh, hi, you're not a rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Karen obtained a Lapras! Yes. Okay, well Lapras is a boy, but we only have one name in the queue, so we're gonna use it. So you guys have to make sure for the next episode you submit some more names. Because we will need some next episode. Anyway, this Lapras is gonna be named Caroline. Caroline! Okay, here we go. Yes, Caroline the Lapras. It's a Lapras. It's a very intelligent Pokemon. We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you'll be a good trainer for Lapras. Alright, so now if something does happen to Gyarados, we have that backup with our Lapras. Alright, we're going to go back and heal. Then we're going to find somebody to raid. And next time... We will be beating the Sylphco area. Thank you so much. Okay, let's save. Yes. Yes, you can overwrite my save. You'll get it next time. That's right. We're going to beat Sylphco next time, which is fine, because that was actually kind of nerve-wracking, so that gives me a chance to level up a little bit before um, we go fight the boss. Alright, so I like, as you guys know, I like to export the games each episode, so I'm just doing that really quick. Okay. And let's find someone to raid. And we'll go back to webcam. Close the game. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's see, let's see. Oh, I've been talking so much about Pokemon Legends. Guess what? Pugzoomies is playing Pokemon Legends. Let's go from one, from the old Pokemon to the new Pokemon. Okay, we'll raid Pugzoomies. I'm just waiting for the commercial to finish to make sure he's not like on a break or something. There's people active in the chat, so I don't think he's on a break, but I just want to make sure. It's almost over.
It was a progressive commercial. The latest ones aren't so good. Okay, he's there. He's not, it doesn't look like he's playing Arceus right this moment, but maybe his, maybe, oh, his stream just started. He's starting now. Okay, here we go. Let's go right into Pug Zoomies. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I do things just like all other content creators. So here's all my socials you can find. You can join my Discord server. It's focused on roleplay help. Um, my main social media I use is Twitter. And um, I post all of my VODs to YouTube. So you can definitely go subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. If you'd like to support me, I do those in the usual ways. Um, I have uh, tips for donations. You can do bits or you can subscribe here on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.